Yeah, I want to go over something real quick. Yeah, basically, this is a Bob Beck uh, Pulsar Electrifier, whatever, and I'm using a scope on it. Um, also, I want to warn people, you know, <laughs> don't depend on this for Ebola. You know, Ebola, America's disease. I don't know if this is going to come about or if it's a big scare or whatever the hell. I don't know what the deal is, but anyway, I just want to put out about this, Bob Beck. I'm just going to show you the... Uh, difference this this the stock way you know unmodified and do what the hell you want because I don't know if this is actually that much better or why but it's what I'm doing but I'll show you here's the stock way it puts out AC current turn the puppy on bing, and there it is so it's there's the there's your negative there's your zero line it goes positive negative it's an AC now hold the clock warned about you know negative you know negative helps microbes I know some people actually just use the frequencies only and they find a specific frequencies and they don't worry about positive or negative but you got to be dialing in the frequencies for that particular microbe despite what Bob Beck said frequency don't matter for his application whatever the hell he was doing but I just going to tell you Holy Clark said about going negative can help microbes now this is this is at this is running 40 Hertz right now and you know it runs normally it's four hertz but any it doesn't matter like the pole principle is it's going positive negative ac so there's a modification you could do and i'll show it to you and it's simply in the cable you stick a one-way diode i didn't know this deal but i was told this you know how to how to set this up now it doesn't go all positive but it goes mostly positive and i'll show you and me personally, I'll be using it this way with the handhelds versus a little tiny electrodes on the wrist. I'll be using the major, the big handhelds, you know. Okay, so um, the only thing that's different is actually the wires. And right here in this, where this black tape is, there's a, there's a one-way diode. So I got the thing set for DC electricity. We turn it on and it's mostly positive it's 27 and a half volts positive two volts negative it's not perfect it's going below zero but it's not bad it's not too bad actually so actually the way i'm going to be doing this and i'm going to be using if i use it and i use it occasionally not much is uh I use the handhelds and i don't use the electrodes actually when you use the handhelds you can feel a hell of a lot more power going through it's like your hands going like this and I know you say it goes through your heart or something but I don't see really how they've been doing this like this with frequency generators forever um, going back to I don't know many years uh, with the handhelds and voltage even higher than that so and you can always turn it down a little bit but I haven't had a problem with it at all so that's just what I'm doing so but uh, the frequency the Bob Beck Pulsar uses is at 3.9 hertz or 3.94 3 hertz, which is right in that healing and regeneration area. It's not all the stuff Bob Beck said it is, but it's, um, you know, a little bit here and there. But, you know, it's not going to work on something like that. Forget about it. <laughs> I don't know. It might healing and regeneration the uh, Ebola along with your rest of your cells, which is probably what it does. But um, if you're an athlete and you want to improve your energy, sometimes that might be okay. Depends. Depends. You know, I just, uh, like anything else, like I'm an advocate of colloidal silver, but I also tell people, hey, that damn thing is no cure. It ain't. It's a uh, cure maybe if you can get it on the exact spot where the infection is but if it's all over the body or something like with Ebola a guilt, you know I said Ebola, Ebola, whatever we got Obama with this guy over here if it's all over the body hang it up man so anyway but also I'm going to tell you uh, I'm going to have up in a, some upcoming videos I'm going to have my uh, Rocky cat I got to get this guy over to the vet and uh, let me get him over here you little munchkin. You're going to have to go to the vet. You're like Dr. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. You go, meow.
Yeah, that's it. What do you say? Huh. He's going to have to go to the vet. And when I got him, they said his shots weren't due for a long time. And I was like, uh, they were due right then. They couldn't handle them. So I'm modifying the squeezer cage with a top thing with a aluminum trap door. I'm getting him some special kitty uh, stuff to freaking calm him down, plus lavender. And you're getting a three year rabies shot, so you don't have to go for three years, which is 21 cat years, you little knucklehead. Right? Anyway, this guy is a, he's, he's, he's a bipolar cat, man. Anyway, he's like a really super good cat now, but I can't, I'm the only person this guy can get around. The reason, I'm adding this on the end of this damn video, I don't care. The, the, uh, the, uh, there isn't one damn person that this cat can get around with having him freaking out. I am the only freaking person this cat ever warmed up to, period. Right, buddy? I mean, you're going to go to the vet and you're going to be terrorized. But it's going to be only once every three years. You got to go, man. You got to get your microchip.